ordinance uh, to educate the public, to challenge the attitudes and the systems that create barriers to equality, and finally to empower community members to advance the mission. And uh, the reason why these contests, the essay contest and the art contest, are so important is because they so clearly align with uh, items two, educating the public, three, challenging attitudes and systems, and for empowering community members. Um, I also like it because it is a celebration of youth as a local educator. And uh, also, I believe that it plays an important role in um, raising up a civil society, which I think is very, very important. So to that end, let me tell you a little bit about the two contests. Um, the first one is the Benjamin M. King uh, Human Rights Essay Contest. Um, this year's essay, was titled, Listen to a Life. The goal was, and this is part of a national contest, actually, uh, where students were to uh, interview an older adult, and in doing so, hopefully clarify some of their own dreams and goals, and then also to develop an appreciation and value, uh, an, an appreciation of value, and, of the value and contributions of older adults, and ultimately, perhaps, uh, work against age discrimination. Uh, let me just say another word really quickly about the, the contest itself. There were 25 community judges. On the back side of your program is a listing of the, the people who so graciously give of their time uh, to judge those uh, works of art and essays. Uh, I believe, according to Lula, um, our administrative assistant, that uh, there were almost 200 uh, entries this year between both contests, and they're both, uh, the teachers that participated are also listed on the back of the program. So, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, I guess what I'll do is say a word about the essay, or the art contest as well. Um, the art contest topic, it was, is called Disable the Label, and uh, it essentially revolves around the fact that people with disabilities don't want to be identified solely by their uh, disability, uh, certainly to find the person within. And to that end, the, uh, the idea was to create a work of art that did disable the label. So let's move on to our award winners. Um, if I could get assistance from Commissioner Carter and Commissioner Ralapali. <clears throat> the winners, what I'm going to do is call them up and the winners, uh, if you'll remain up here uh, until all are called up, and then we'll um, have a, a big round of applause at the end. They're going to receive a $100 savings bond and a plaque and a collected works of Martin Luther King, his speeches and his, um, uh, his writings. So we'll begin with the elementary essay division. Um, our winner this year is uh, a sixth grader at ABC Stewart Montessori. His teacher is Dr. Uh, Mr. Jerry Mullen, and our winner is Jay Highland. Yeah, you said <laughs> okay, our middle school essay division winner is an eighth grader at Northside Middle School, a student of Ms. Julie Calfi, and uh, the winner of the middle school essay contest, the Benjamin M. King Human Rights uh, Essay Contest, is Garrett Mabry. <laughs> high school essay division winner is a senior at North High School, uh, student of Ms. Mimi Hageman. Hageman, sorry, uh, and uh, that winner is David Eaters. Uh, in the elementary art division, uh, we have a sixth grader at Parkside Elementary, student of Ms. Rita Bass, and the winner of the elementary art contest, the, um, I forgot to mention this, the uh, J. Rowan Miller Human Rights Art Contest uh, is Miss Chandler Zeller. <laughs> and finally, our high school art 
division winner is uh, quite an achievement. Uh, the winner is uh, five consecutive years has won either the essay or the art contest. And in sports, I think they call that one for the thumb um, thing. Uh, but that's really quite an achievement to have won, uh, won so many consecutive times. And certainly, this is somebody I think would be a future uh, human rights commissioner, obviously, with the passion that she brings to her work. Uh, she is a 10th uh, grader in the Columbus Area Home Educators. Her teacher is Ms. Jill Goble, and that is Ms. Susanna Beardall.